Alright, what is good YouTube? And you know I'm back at it again with yet another video for y'all. Basically, what this is going to be about is whether if I think the shoe is dope or whether if I should think the shoe is not dope. So, first off, what we have are the Cap and Gown 11s. These weren't really a really overhyped shoe because a lot of people didn't know how to feel about the suede and then the nylon being on an 11 and the middle jump man. But honestly, the more I look at it, the more I kind of like it. It looks really good on feet. I'm not even going to front. Even though it looks like a watered down Gamma, Gamma 11, it still looks pretty dope in a way, I guess. So, I mean, I don't know about me paying 250 for them, but honestly, the more I look at it, the more it looks dope to me. Next, what we have are the Adidas Alpha Edge 4D. Now, in my opinion, these look okay looking. I would rather rock the Future Crafts, but I mean, $300 for a pair of you know, Alpha Edge 4Ds, I don't know. I never tried the 4D technology on the Adidas before, so maybe it may be worth it, maybe not. Honestly, I just don't think of me wearing this shoe, but I love, always love runners. I always love shoes that are really comfortable, really light, really thin. It's not like, you know, doesn't build up heat in your feet. So I always love shoes like that. So. They look dope to me, but I don't think I paid 300 for these. Now, next what we have are the Nike Air Max 1's OG The Anniversary. Again, I don't know why they keep restocking these over and over again. They, I think they did it last year um, twice, and now they're doing it this year again. I don't know why they keep putting these out because I feel like too many people have them, but they're a dope shoe. Not gonna lie, I don't even have a pair yet, so. I might be able to grab and snack a pair, but I just don't see why they keep restocking these every so often. A lot more than other shoes that I've seen being restocked. All right, so next what we have are the Golf La Flares, or La Fleur, I don't know how to pronounce them, Golf La Flares, and it's Tyler Creator's um, Converse shoe. And what I think about these are, I think it's a dope looking shoe in my opinion. These are probably the perfect summer shoe to wear. What I think about these are, you know, they're like the two-tone colorway, so it's just two-toned um particularly i don't think i could rock something like this that's like two-toned like that because i wouldn't know what to put it out it with but i'm pretty sure a lot of people would rock the crap out of these so it comes with the orange and peach colorway and you got your red and blue and then you got your also green and purple and you have your light blue and then you have your pink so the colorways are dope but i just certainly don't think i could rock the colorways like those I don't know how, I don't know how I put an outfit together like that, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that could. So yes, they're dope. Next, what we have are the Air Max 270s and the Nike Air Vapor Max Plus. Be true. These are a dope colorway. I don't see how people could hate these. I mean, the color is dope. It's like the 270 has like a it's like a dark bluish gray and then the air bubble is like multicolored. It's a dope colorway in my opinion. This looks really cool. And it's just like, there's just so many colors all in one. And like I said, a lot of colors, you know, summertime popping colors, it'll make it stand out. So in my opinion, they're pretty dope. But out of the two, I probably would get the 270. The Air Vapor Max Plus are dope. Don't get me wrong. Those are a dope shoe. Um, I plan on getting one pretty soon, but it's just that I'd rather take the 270s I know how they feel and I already have a pair and that color just looks dope so it's only 160 not that bad for an Air Max I would definitely I'll definitely purchase one so next what we have are the off-white Prestos obviously everyone's gonna buy these from the 10 pack last year everybody that just sold out everybody purchased them and they were sell very very high so these are retailing 160 I'm gonna see if I can try to enter a raffle for these I'm gonna do everything I can to get these because they just look dope. In my opinion, I probably would get the black pair over the white pair, because white, it just gets dirty real fast. And knowing me, can't keep white clean, just nah. So either way, both colors look dope. I'm definitely gonna be buying these, only 160, and they're probably gonna be retailing about maybe 900 to a grand. So I'm definitely gonna be purchasing at least one or two pairs, see if I can snag them. All right, and next what we have are the KD11s. Now, in my opinion, these shoes are a dope basketball shoe, but to wear casually, 
I don't know. Seeing this as a casual shoe, I don't really see it. I mean, it looks dope, but it just looks like a dope basketball shoe. So people might like it. Some people might not like it. It's like I said, it's preference, but I don't think it looks that bad. And finally, we're going to end this video with Yeezys. Okay, the 350 Boost. They had the ice yellow, the peanut butter, and the sesame colorway. Honestly, these colors are okay i don't really see myself wearing colors like these nor do i see really other people wearing colors like these i don't really see me buying these i can see other people buying them but that's just only to resell so they're retailing 220 so usually a easy price but honestly i don't see myself wearing these the colorways are kind of okay nothing really you know stand out ish a lot of people like the icy yellow though but other than that i don't really like any of the colors but it's all up to everybody else i mean everybody else likes them it may be for somebody out there that are probably looking for them all right and that basically sums up my video just talking about all these types of shoes whether i should whether if i should cop or whether i should drop i mean honestly in my opinion it's all preference these are all opinions not all the shoes i'm going to talk about are going to be trash or they're going to be really great like i said it's all per reference i hope you enjoyed this video i'm getting a new camera pretty soon so i will be shooting vlogs i will be going thrifting i will be doing all those fun things so i will be seeing you next time i'm mikey and you can follow me on instagram and the twitter at nice mike with two e's underscore mike and i'll see you next time deuces Every day, Venture Time.